Two are dead following a fiery plane crash in McAllen. Action 4 News was first on the scene. Our Annalise Ortiz, Ortiz joins us now live. And Annalise, what can you tell us? Eddie, crews are still out here combing through this shrubby area just south of the McAllen Miller International Airport where the bodies of two people who were flying in a small plane were found. Now, we did just learn that the two people on board were a student and an instructor. Now, according to Police Chief Victor Rodriguez, around 6.45 p.m. tonight, witnesses reported they saw a small plane stalling and tilting, and that's when it crashed near this area south of the McAllen Miller International Airport. Chief Rodriguez says the plane caused a fire and crews were able to extinguish it. However, those two people who were on board did die. Now, according to Chief Rodriguez, this was a privately owned plane, but it was taking off there from the McAllen Miller International Airport. According to the witnesses that we have, there was engine failure or some sort of failure that caused the engine to basically veer to, veer to the right and crash just south of the McAllen Airport. Now, as you can see in that video there, there was some lightning, rain, and wind earlier today. However, Chief Rodriguez says it is far too early in the investigation to figure out whether or not that played a role in what caused that plane to go down. Uh, officials from the Federal Aviation Administration, as well as the National Transportation Safety Board, are expected to be here on the scene shortly and will release more details as they continue to investigate. Live near the McAllen Miller International Airport, Annalise Ortiz, Action 4 News.